So in the previous video, we learned about Go High Level calendars. We were at a pretty basic level. In this video, we are gonna discuss what's the difference between unassigned calendars versus calendar groups. So this is the calendar we created in the last video. This is a pretty 1v1 calendar really. So this is for one person use, as long as we connect a Google calendar, that's gonna sync with that Google calendar and pick up all the available slots and stuff like that. So this is used for one versus one purpose, where if you use calendar groups, you will have the ability to have multiple people in the same calendar and do a round robin appointment assignment, something like that. So if we go to my staff, we can see two users here. So let's say these two users are accepting appointments. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to calendars and add a group. This is where we are starting to create a group's calendar. So let's say roof uh, replacement discussion, roof replacement. This, let's have this, okay. This looks good. And um, book your roof replacement discussion booking uh, appointment. Sorry, hit save. We have now created a calendar group. Let's say we want to have a calendar here that says uh, roof replacement booking calendar let's save the same description it's fine okay so this is now asking me for adding a user as i've said we have two users right so let's hit add user i'm gonna choose asib add user i'm gonna choose john doe so i've added two users in this calendar i can manipulate priority so high priority means the calendar will look for slots in my calendar my google calendar first and then john those google calendar next so we can change this like low priority let's have this save and continue and if you've seen my last video on setting up these this is pretty much the same nothing changes here so i'm keeping it as it is and everything else here too so what it's gonna do and what's the difference between these is the assignment really if you have a grouped calendar you can have if you have five users you can have three calendars in it and based on the need and based on the type of booking appointment bookings you can have multiple users you can have single users. Another important usage of using calendar groups is I have roof replacement discussion in a group and I can have multiple groups like roof maintenance, shingles roof, roof repair, and so on and so forth. This comes in handy if you're categorizing your appointments really. So this is how we use calendar groups. And if we start connecting our Google calendars, this is gonna make much more sense because the calendar is gonna look for available slots in the Google calendar. We're gonna see how to connect Google calendars with Go High Level to avoid conflicts and check for available slots in your calendar in the next video.